Okay, this is a work uh, with two colleagues from Chile um, that uh, we are trying to look at one of the programs that the Chilean government implement uh, in order to uh, reduce the impact of the pandemic on uh, jobs, okay? <coughs> so before I start, I have to uh, thank uh, Thomas for the invitation and the people of Azore for the reception. I feel very welcome here and also some of the project that helped to uh, support uh, the research. Okay, the, the, this is a work in progress, in progress still, um, and it's, uh, the idea is uh, to study the effectiveness of uh, an a special blind employment relief program uh, in the Syrian labor market, okay? And, uh, <coughs> and, and the way that uh, the, the health policy or the health program has been working are very specialized, okay? Uh, the health uh, people follow the contagious and, uh, and depend on, on the numbers, they put some lockdown or they let people move around, depend on, but this is very, at very a small a spatial level. While the economies that the, the design, the policy, <coughs> normally look the country as a whole and they don't follow what the, the health uh, people is doing in terms of controlling the pandemic. Okay, uh, so uh, the context is, is that, and we are trying to see if there is uh, some losses efficiency, given that they are not uh, taken in, into account in the program uh, that, uh, oh my gosh, this is not working. So the program is called the Employment Protection uh, uh, Program that is, um, is given by a law there. And uh, the, the idea of the program is to uh, keep the relationship between the worker and uh, the owner of the firms. And uh, even though the firm in many, in many uh, places had to be closed, then um, the program will uh, pay um, about 80% of the wages while um, the firm have to still pay what we call the, uh, the social payment. It means that it's uh, the, the amount of money that go for the pension fund and the amount of money that go for the health insurance. This is about 20% of the wage. Uh, when we start reviewing the literature, uh, it's a huge amount of literature uh, uh, already there, <coughs> and uh, so I just put some of them that might be uh, uh, interesting for this paper, but in the paper there's a lot more. Um, what, it, what do you find? Some papers saying that uh, mass of the, uh, the economic policy to tackle the impact of the pandemic has uh, overlooked this uh, special heterogeneity of the pandemic in the territory, okay? So there's some part of the territory where the pandemic had been hit very hard and another had been very smooth, okay? But from the economic perspective, the program normally don't take into account this and, and they do some general uh, program for all the uh, territories. Um, on the other side, <coughs> we already have uh, some literature showing that is uh, you lose some efficiency when you do uh, blind, uh, especially blind policy. See, for example, there is a paper in 2020 uh, showing that uh, in USA, uh, the Paycheck Protection Program uh, has uh, go to those places where have been less affected by the pandemic. Uh, so it's a, uh, if you are, a can, it's a, you are a rich country, then that might be not a problem, but if you are a developing country where the resource is more scarce, <coughs> uh, then uh, uh, overspending might be a source of 
a big inefficiency. Um, there is a, a small description of the employment protection program. Okay, so this is what is uh, said that uh, basically that uh, the firms uh, that uh, this is one one of the, the issues that is very interesting. Uh, who decide to get into the program are the firm, are not the workers. Okay, so as, uh, <coughs> the firm decide if they are gonna close it or they're gonna reduce the uh, production and in both cases they can uh, enroll in the program and the program will uh, finance part of the uh, wages expenditure. Okay, let's start with the impact on the labor market of the pandemic. Okay. Yes, you can see properly there. Uh, uh, the Chilean labor market is, uh, has a, a an occupation of uh, 9.1 million uh, person in January uh, 2020. Uh, the first contagious there was in March uh, of 2020. So we pick a point before the first contagious in order to uh, see what will be the impact of the, uh, of the pandemic, okay? Uh, by June of 2020, uh, the, the occupation has fall to 7.1 one million. It means 22 percent of the job were uh, lost, and, uh, and, <coughs> and what we have in the graph are uh, different regions. So there are some regions where the loss uh, reach uh, 11 percent, which is I send the first one up there, and uh, the mass uh, affected is one of the poorest uh, region of the country. It's called Araucanía. And, uh, and the impact was uh, larger than 30 percent. In average, was 22 percent. But this, uh, you can see, there is a, an heterogeneous impact across the territory. And then we uh, have some information about contagion and the lockdown. Okay, so here is a graph. Um, this is uh, the country. It's a, it's a is uh, a linear country, and you see from south, from north to south, see the, the, the green region, the last one, is very close to the Antarctic. Uh, this is the last part of the, of the world, <coughs> of the, the American continent. So uh, we have uh, 15 regions, and, uh, and uh, these are, are uh, it's a graph that is showing uh, the, the contagious and the lockdown intensity. So the yellow to uh, blue uh, and dark blue is, uh, is showing the incident rate. Okay. It means that uh, the flow of contagious across the different <coughs> region and, uh, and, the, uh, and the, the gray go to dark, black, uh, look the lockdown intensity. And we measure the lockdown intensity by the number of days that those regions have been Locked down because uh, the pandemic. Okay, so uh, you can see that there is a high correlation between the incident rate and the lockdown intensity uh, across the country, and there is some heterogeneous behavior. Okay, so there is some region where uh, the pandemic never hit uh, strongly, while other uh, in the north part of the country. Uh, you can see that there's uh, many times where they can have go to lockdown and also the, the rate of contagion is, is, is higher, okay? And also in the, in the very south, the last region, uh, recently we have also some increasing in the contagious, also uh, increase in the uh, lockdown. And then uh, we see uh, the lockdown the relation between the lockdown and the uh, the program intensity, okay? Just in uh, because, uh, as I told you, uh, the lockdown and the contagion were very very close, okay? So the the, the health administrator are looking regions, uh, towns, and uh, and and they make this uh, policy very specially implemented while the LPE is not special at all. They just uh, uh, do the program, and the people, uh, the people uh, go to the program according to their own 
uh, decision. So in, in the left side, we have uh, the uh, intensity of the lockdowns, and the, in, the, in the right side, the intensity of the adoption of <coughs> the program by the firms, okay? And so you can see first there is a, in both sides, there is a heterogeneous behavior, okay? And the question would be if those heterogeneous behavior are related or are not. Okay, so this is a, a, is a close up for the north part, and you can see <coughs> the first fourth region, okay? The second region is uh, Tarapacá, is the second, is the darkest one there. So these are, are one of the regions that most of the, pe most of the film, okay? Um, yes, most film uh, in the country, proportional to the number of film in this region, um, where, uh, subscribe to the program, okay? But in the third region, that also has a, a, a very high intensity in lockdown, you can see uh, the uh, intensity of the film going to the program is a lot uh, lower, okay? And it's a, it's a, it's a light grade, okay? So it's mean that uh, between 15, 20% of the film get into the program, and in Atacama, even though uh, the lockdown was less intense, uh, still, there is no film going to the program, okay? So there is some uh, heterogeneous behavior between in the, the lockdown intensity, which is tied to the contagious, while in the, uh, uh, the, the ascription to the program is also heterogeneous, and the correlation is not so high, okay? So this is, uh, this is the content, and this is what we want to explain uh, what is happening. The first thing was uh, to define the dependent variable, okay? And the problem with the dependent variable here is that we have this, uh, this country, which is, uh, is very heterogeneous in several ways, okay? But some of the ways are the size of the population. <coughs> in, the, in the middle, in, the, in that uh, uh, box that is there, in the metropolitan region where 40% of the population of the country live there. And it represents just 2% of the total territory. Okay, so it's very concentrated around that uh, point. Okay, and uh, we have other uh, region where um, about the, the size of the population is 5% uh, is, uh, of the uh, population of the uh, metropolitan region, so it's, uh, it's a very different, it's very heterogeneous. So when we uh, start looking this uh, panel of data, okay, the variation that was across the country by units was so big that it didn't allow to look for uh, or to find variable to explain the rest of the variation that occurred over, over time. Okay, so in panel data, the between variation dominate the whole, the total variation. Okay, so we have to <coughs> look some way to rewrite the dependent variable in order that the variation no, not be dominated by the between variation, but by within variation, which is the one that we want to explain. Okay, uh, so among different transformation of the dependent variable, this is the one that we choose uh, finally. Uh, we have a measure of the labor market, X, that can be uh, employment or unemployment or inactive population in age for working. And all of them were measured <coughs> as, uh, as a proportion of the regional working age population, okay? And uh, here is, uh, I will not go through, but this is for each of the region. Uh, what we have here is uh, the behavior of the employment flow with respect to the working age population. So one of the dependent variables that we use uh, in this case, in this case, was employment. Okay, and uh, you have uh, the behavior previous to the pandemic. Okay, which is an uh, that is a violet color, something like that. And then uh, we have the behavior in uh, <coughs> after the pandemic, and, and you can see the occupation fall. Sometimes it's for, uh, wow, 
I already have like 15 minutes. Can I have another five? Yes. Okay, yeah. Cool. Yes, thank you. <laughs> uh, okay. So the, the 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 you can see that uh, the pandemic hit the region in very heterogeneous way. There is some where uh, the 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 in one month uh, the flow chain to it go down. This is percentage, so it can go down for uh, six percent. While in other, this is the largest one. Where the other, the largest one might be two percent. So it's a it's a very heterogeneous behavior across the country. Okay. <coughs> so we have a model. Uh, we have several models, but I will show just one. I I I, I expect that my time will not allow me to go through the whole paper. I didn't expect that so be so short, but. Uh, these are the variable. Uh, we separate the pandemic as uh, the initial shock. Initial shock was uh, identified by the first contagious that was um, uh, uh, registered in the region. And then uh, we have another for uh, looking the rest of the pandemic. Uh, we also have separate the, the first lockdown, okay? And then the uh, lockdown after that, okay? So. We, uh, 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 we, we run several ways the, the model, but this uh, was the one that uh, <coughs> gave better results, and this is one, the one I will present. Okay, this is the initial chalk. It's a dummy variable for uh, the first three months of the pandemic in Chile. Okay, the rest of the pandemic is a dummy variable for, for all the, the months. Uh, the initial chalk means three months when you get the first case, okay? Uh, the same thing with the lockdown. Okay, we have a variable for the for the months where uh, the first lockdown was uh, in place, and then <coughs> uh, another for the rest. Okay, and we have uh, for the uh, explanation variable we have uh, occupation or employees, unemployment, uh, inactive population, employee for female, uh, male, formal, and informal. So all of those data. And result are in the in the paper, okay. And the uh, descriptive statistics are for all of them, but in the these are the variables that we will use to explain it. Um, the flow of employees and the flow of employee, the the ra the ratio of them. This is was used for building the dependent variable. Then we have the lockdown in. A, the dummy variable, and also we have the day, the number of days of lo the lockdown, and uh, and the the, the other uh, dependent independent variable that w I will show you here. Uh, in all the model, because it's a panel, we use uh, fixed effects. Okay, we we test if we should use fixed effects or random effects. Uh, the heterogeneity is still uh, after that we create the dependent variable. Uh, um, uh, was uh, telling us that we use we should use uh, a fixed effect. So we use fixed effects uh, for um, the 16 region, 15 region, and also for the uh, 14 months that we have in the sample. <coughs> and these are uh, the result for the whole country. And here we are explaining the uh, the flows or, or the loss the, of the occupation or the or the increasing of the unemployment, or the increasing of uh, inactive. Okay, so is uh, um, you can see here uh, the initial shock has a negative impact on employ and employment and informal employment and uh, informal employment also, and uh, it has a positive in the inactive and unemployment. Okay, so the initial shock. Uh, of the pandemic hit the occupation, okay, and the formal and informal market, and people that lost the uh, the job, the uh, large part go to inactives, okay, and the other part uh, keep looking for job, but uh, they don't find, so the, the unemployment rate increase a lot, okay. Then the rest of the pandemic, uh, there is a recovering, okay, in the occupation, uh, and that recovery, you see that is not so much in the formal employment, but in the informal sector. And also uh, the inactives 
uh, start reducing it means that people that is inactive start looking for job um, some of them <coughs> start finding that job in the in the informal uh, sector okay uh, this is the, the first thing the the second thing is that the lockdown okay the first month is uh, doesn't have too much uh, impact on the uh, uh, on the variable no, there is no significant there but there is in the uh, uh, in the in the other months so once you have lockdown okay it has a, a, a lag effects okay so the next month uh, the the the, um, the employment start recovering also and also that recovering is in both sector in the informal and informal and the inactive start reducing it means that the people that went to the inactive start looking for job and find it in, in both, in the informal and informal sector. Then uh, we have, uh, I'm sorry, there is a sign here. <coughs> okay. We repeat this uh, for the program, for the LPE program, okay? And we see that uh, the program uh, help to uh, to increase the employment or to maintain the employment higher is a positive impact there, and especially in the formal sector, it doesn't help to informal sector, which you can expect that if you are in the formal sector, you are not allowed to to go to the program, and also help to uh, reduce the increasing of the inactive people. So it's a uh, uh, the first thing, the thing that showed this is that the uh, the program uh, help in the in the expected direction, okay, and then we uh, split the sample uh, where in between the the early lockdown region and the rest of the region that were uh, hit by the lockdown later, and what we found is that the uh, impact of the program in the early lockdown region was very uh, small, okay. And uh, when you see the rest of the country, the, the, the region that get the uh, lockdown later, then we find that the impact was very <coughs> significant, especially when you compare with the previous one, okay? So it means that uh, it look like the, the region that were impact, impacted later by the pandemic were learning uh, how to use the, the program in order to, uh, um, reduce the impact over the occupation, okay, e, and this is especially in the formal sector, okay. Uh, <coughs> this is uh, this is what I have prepared for the paper. The paper is, is a lot longer and uh, has a, a detail for women's informal and informal sector and so on. But in general, what is said that uh, there is a, uh, some regions there that were impacted by the pandemic later that did they do better uh, keeping people working or keeping people with wages because uh, the program what they give you uh, was uh, the right to be at home but keep your part of your wage uh, uh, <coughs> without go to the, the firm and uh, and uh, so the, the the region that were hit first were the region that uh, suffer mass for uh, for the pandemic. Thank you very much.